Hi, I'm Dala. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how an old used EV battery is powering my entire workshop for eight months off grid per year. Let's get started. Okay, so a quick reminder of what I'm actually using here. I am charging my leaf right now. Um, I have a Fronius inverter and we have, uh, this is a Gen 24, and we have uh, seven uh, KVP of uh, solar panels up on the roof. And uh, what's new here is that I've added the battery. This is a 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf battery. It's a 2017 model and it's currently hooked up to the grid and being charged by the solar panels. And um, in this video, I'm gonna go through quickly how it is connected to the inverter. I have some wiring diagrams up on GitHub for anyone that wants to add an used EV battery uh, to their own uh, Fronius Gen 24 inverter. So think of this video more as a complementary thing. So let's go through some of the things that are needed in order to connect this. And first things first, this is a temporary setup still. Uh, the proper install, the battery will actually be moved here. We will create a foundation for it and add some fireproofing, etc. But this is just the like proof of concept setup. It has been running for two months now already, but we will remake it as soon as possible. Some of the cablings here are also very temporary. But let's look at what is needed. So I have my battery here. It's hooked up to the uh, main high voltage uh, line. You can also use this secondary, but I had this uh, wire already, so I used this one. And this thick 50 square millimeter cable goes into this junction box where it gets uh, downsized to 10 millimeter uh, cabling. And this is needed because the solar inverter, it only takes 10 square millimeters as a maximum. So this is just a reduction box. But then we have some other cables here. Uh, here is the communication plug and it has a lot of wires coming out of it. But uh, the most important ones are, I've added this uh, OBD2 uh, port so I can hook up Leaf Spy directly to the battery in case I want to look at some battery statistics. So this is just optional, you don't have to do this. But um, here is the CAN communication line that goes to the uh, conversion box uh, bridge and also these other uh, cables that go here, they go into this um, wiring harness that goes all the way up to here. And what does this panel do? This thing is a very simple thing. It just uh, distributes 12 volt to the battery. And it does this, it has this uh, 230 volts uh, to 12 volt adapter. And um, it's taken into this box right here where I have made some uh, switches. These are fuses, but uh, I'm, I'm only using them as switches. So I can individually turn on uh, pre-charge, negative contactor, positive contactor, and uh, BMS itself inside the battery. I have the startup se sequence here also printed. I have all this info on GitHub. So basically you have to do kind of a dance here. You have to turn on first the pre-charge, uh, then positive, uh, or negative positive and then turn off the pre-charge resistor so you don't burn it. And the pre-charge resistor is just there to avoid uh, any sparks coming when you connect the high voltage battery. But all this is explained better in GitHub. This is more uh, just sort of a how to do it in practice. And um, the, yeah, these high voltage lines, they go then all the way up here and then they come down and they enter the inverter. First they go via this uh, disconnect switch and they loop into the Fronius Gen 24 inverter. But it's not as simple as to just uh, take the high voltage line and uh, attach it uh, to the inverter. You also have to have the communication set up properly. So now I'm gonna show you uh, the communication part of it. The, the inverter has one line going here I've drilled a hole in the wall, it goes in here, and the battery communication goes here. So let's go 
throw the side of this wall and take a look. And here is the other part of the wall. And here the can lines and the mod bus enter this box where I have this um, uh, Lilligo ESP32 uh, that is translating all the can messages into Modbus registers that are understood by the Fronius inverter. All this is open source and available on GitHub if anyone wants to copy this and hook it up for themselves. The Lilligo is powered by 5V. Uh, I have this uh, only this phone charger right here that it's hooked up to. But um, a better solution would be to have uh, some battery backup so in case the power goes down uh, you don't want this to turn off because then you can't use the battery. So it would be an upgrade to have some sort of small battery backup for this system also. But yeah, that's how simple it is. So yeah, that's it. I mean, this is a true plug and play solution. I mean, you've seen maybe some of my previous videos where I did a power wall from scratch by rearranging the modules into a 48V uh, system. But uh, this is so much better. I mean, you just hook it up and it works. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned, we've been using it for two months now without any issues and it's just chugging along and we haven't purchased any electricity here, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna do some follow-up videos later when I have more uh, statistics on it and how much power we have stored into the battery and discharge from it. But um, I mean, this is just an amazing setup. I And it's cheap. I mean, you can get uh, Leaf batteries or Tesla batteries, I forgot to mention. We are also working on adding uh, Tesla batteries to the same code. So you can switch if you want to use uh, Leaf or Tesla batteries. And that makes it even better because you can get really large Tesla batteries for a very low price. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you just, uh, by looking at this video, uh, I mean, if you want to learn more, go check the links in the description uh, on the GitHub for more info on how to hook up the battery. But this was just sort of a, how, how should it be done in practice and there's lots of things that can be improved here like I mentioned we will get the fireproofing uh, sorted out here and um, stuff like that so yeah but if you like this uh, if you think about getting a battery for your home I think this is the best solution by far because it's so cheap I mean so cheap <laughs> yep leave a thumbs up uh, or dislike the video whatever you want and um, I will see you in the next one bye